Hey, Oklahoma set to carry out its first state execution of 2024. Good day, Oklahoma's Jameson Keepover joins us live in studio now to break down Michael Smith's effort to stay alive. Jameson. Yeah, Shelby, Michael Smith was convicted of murdering two people back in 2002. According to the state, Smith went by the street name Hoover Killer or HK. Through witness statements and his own confession, the state now calls him a ruthless killer. Now, Smith has spent more than 20 years on death row. He was convicted of murdering Janet Moore, a 40-year-old mother, and Sharath Pulleru, a 24-year-old store clerk, in two separate events in February 2002. He he was also convicted of second degree murder in a separate killing, which he received another life sentence for. Now, back in March, Smith's legal team and family made a final attempt to save his life in front of the pardon and parole board. They argued that Smith is developmentally challenged with a tough childhood and young drug use. They also brought questions into the state's case on their use of witnesses. Now, in the hearing, the state used Smith's video confession against him, playing multiple clips of him describing killing Moore and Pularu in great detail. During the hearing, though, Smith claimed he never killed them. Families of the victim were in that room crying when they saw the confession and the brutal crime scene photos. The board voted four to one against to clemency for Smith. That brings us to today. Smith is scheduled to be executed by lethal injection at 10 this morning. That's happening in McAllister. Now there's a protest this morning outside the governor's mansion in Oklahoma City calling for a stop to executions, including Michael Smith's. But it's highly unlikely that Governor Stitt would step in to stop the execution after Smith was denied clemency. For Good Day Oklahoma, I'm Jameson Keefover.